So the front of the house has some really cool stuff. Really nice hanging gingerbread clock. A couple of old radios. Neat postal set, folks. The uh, All the old paint on there. Just a neat set of drawers. This is super cool. It is a stereophonic masterwork. Those are the speakers. And that's the transistor stereo and phonograph. Pretty cool setup. I was told it works too. It's at the front real quick, so I don't forget that this time. A couple of really nice 1930s folk paintings here, folks. This one here is by Richard Jansen. He was a WPA artist. Not much information known about him, but this piece, as long as the other one, were both displayed in 33 in Wisconsin, at a Wisconsin Art Fair. Uh, this one needs to be re restored. A lot of crack there on there. And this is by G. Sinclair. Uh, what the hell does G stand for? Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, PAFA, Pennsylvania Association of Fine Arts, or Academy of Fine Arts Harvest. It's got the ex PAFA stamp on there. Winter in Town, 1921. Again, it has the 1933 uh, display tag on the back as well. Some really cool stuff in the cases, folks. Old baseball score programs, all star game from 57, Rose Bowl. A little box of coins, like a little set, break light bridge. Box, couple of globes, good old Cardinals daughter. The Mickey back scratch is pretty cool. There are three uh, Masonic fezes. Here's the first little section of good jewelry, but we have lots of good jewelry in other cases. I've ever seen a George Brett Pine Tar game commemorative bat, full length. That's a regular Louisville Slinger. Good old Armand Marseille. Some good old planes. There's a little stack of sterling there. There's more sterling in other cases. Collection of powder horns. I th it's hard to tell. I think some of them are old, some of them are repos. But uh, even the repos are really nice, well done, great decorative horns. So make sure you take a look at those. Great for your Mission Road dealers. These are kind of a great little group of uh, 1930s. Uh, prints, these are, I forget what exactly they're called, but uh, they're pretty neat, pretty you know, iconic deco type. A little bit of groups of uh, odds and ends. Love the Preston antifreeze, almost like a watering can. Two racks full of pictures, and there are some neat pieces in there, so make sure you take a chance to look through those. Slot car parts, brand new wall clock in the box, Time Life books. Some neat odds and ends. Buyer and Bach, not familiar with that company. Uh, sterilizer, great Kansas City saddle. Uh, you've seen the pictures on the website. Cupid Awake. Some neat pieces here in these boxes, folks. Beautiful Donatello pitcher, except it's got some damage on it, which is a shame because it's a hard to find piece. Alrighty. Group of carolers, kind of fun. Christmas box, some glassware, a little clarinet. Top hat grill. Don't know if it's an old or new picture, but it's just really good looking. Some jewelry, other odds and ends, pair of bows, the speakers, some neat textiles, quilts, blankets, chenille spreads. Don't see many chenilles anymore. Most of these are uh, Wallace study, including a real, you know, real nice neighborhood news. The big one in the original, good old fray, oak frame. Christmas plates, little mini lamp. Wonderful old glass, 1840s, 1860s, some of it. Collection of stands, cake stands, including this great big one right here. I like that. Great pattern on that one in the back. The two in the back both have nice patterns to them. Those came out of an estate in Lawrence. Sandy and I went to and picked up a bunch of stuff the other night. Big old box of costume jewelry, so there's a lot. Choice lamp. All right, a nice little group of sterling here. Six shake, six candlesticks, a couple of cups, and all odds and ends. This stuff is cool. I love custard glass, great color. But Tulsa Indian Territory and El Reno, I'm not sure what the O stands for, though. Occupied Territory... Oregon Territory, I'm not sure. The others are Kansas, which is good. 
but uh, the Indian Territory and I don't know what the O stands for, Oklahoma Territory. Another cake stand, in blue though, it's a nice color. Box full of sterling. The, heart, the little chocolate pot, or whatever you want to call that, there is eight is yeah, 800 silver, 18 karat gold highlights. Um, I can't make out the other mark on there. Somebody said the Russians did a lot of that. I'm not sure. I'm not saying that. I'm just it definitely is European and very good looking. Beautiful Russian like the box. Little little leak figure right there. Some neat glass pieces on top. This is mainly silver on this shelf and costume. There's a big chunky bracelet there, lots of powder. Coca-Cola charm bracelet is really quite, quite sweet. This case, I believe, is all gold except for the pocket watch and one of the little ladies' wristwatches. All the rings are gold. Earrings are gold. The, the pendant with the amethyst in it. 1853 American US dollar in the 14 karat bezel. Big old slab of gold right there from the Jamaica Royale. Let's see from my initials there. That's a CZ, but it's a 14 KP gold. And a little box of service medals. A lot of those are 10 karat. And love the Deco Vendome incense burner. Great figure size. Great big one, too. Real cool barometer, thermostat, enamel, nice little carved dog. Like the start event piece there. The old life preserver. Not life preserver. You guys know what it is. Another great piece of artwork here. A Neilan uh, pen and ink illustration. Knickerbocker and Huckleberry STR Railway Railroad. And obviously there's a in company fight going on, trying to trap them down with the tracks. I thought it was just a great illustration, and that's an original, folks. It's not a print, it's an original all the way. Great little RS group here, beautiful floral. Good old hat. This is pretty cool, the old uh, railroad switch light there. Somebody's wired up with a light bulb in it, kind of neat. Big Indian tree. This is a good old blue and white sponge tray. I've never seen one quite like it with that overall blue and white. Great set of seven blue and white historical, about 1900. Great cobalt color to them though. Beautiful Fulper console bolt with the flower frog, hard to find that. Good antique pewter. This is a great dog plate here, check that out. And it's uh, Calden, England again, circa 1900. Pretty nice piece, folks. Peoria pottery stoneware. Love the Art Deco Iron Dogs doorstop, and it looks old and right to me. I'm not going to guarantee because I just don't know that stuff like y'all do, but pretty nice. Great little group of, of uh, Nylok, and this part is Nylok, and I tell you, I've never seen this piece before. Flamingo on there, the twisted rope handles, neat little pot there, nice little collection of camera, or Nylok. World War I GI tramp art, trench art, couple of Gumball machine. So this one I was told is the Mickey Mouse, but it doesn't have the label on it anymore. You guys decide. Beautiful fur. Get out of the uh, Somerset estate. This is by uh, Hensel, Hensel. Gustav Hensel. It's signed D. Hensel. He went by something, but his real name is Gustav von Hensel. Good oil. Came out of the, the Lawrence estate. I mean, some really good houses. This is plastic, but it really just looks great. It might be the best looking plastic Coke light I've ever seen. <laughs> and yes, it almost hurts to say that out loud. All righty. Good. Uh, this isn't a Pendleton. It's another Trapper Point. Beautiful label on the uh, old wool. Again, more quilts. Serape. More blankets. Camp blanket there. Some more quilts and some unis. Let me hit this real quick. Front table are not full, but God, there's great look stuff. Great stuff all throughout. Several sets of china, including the Bayreuth set here. Beautiful parishes. Check those out in those great blue frames. Let's head this way. I'll come back to that front table. This set, I think, is uh, Dalton. I think this is Czech. No, that's uh, Nortake Minaret. Homer Laughlin. Franciscan. Havlin Limoges. And Homer Laughlin again. And then another another blue little set in the back. 
along the east wall we have uh, little Harley Davidson pieces. Some interesting little boxes there. I love the set of chairs. They need a little bit of work. They need uh, seats and a singular color chosen, but I just love the form on them. Leonardo Sebring right there was a uh, Disney artist with a couple of paintings. Beautiful oak secretary. He just came in late Thursday. And it's just a beautiful piece. I love that round bevel glass mirror in the back there. And the uh, the food dogs or food lions are bronze. Real good looking. Giorgio Armani display cabinet be great for all kinds of smalls for you. And then up here on this one table, the sign Trudeau cartoon. Music box with the Bakelite top, some Yona. There are three Hummels from two different estates. Real nice mirror. Waterford. Little cobalt cut to clear. It's a pencil sign or hand colored photograph we could look in. That's artist sign Stangle. I'm not sure who the artist is. I couldn't quite make it up, but I haven't seen him before. Another good Victorian clock. Old sleepy clock. Beautiful. I mean, this is a great piece of mercury. Check out this, the bird on there, even. I mean, you just don't see them. And beautiful gold inside. I mean, just a really nice little piece. And uh, let's see, 17, which estate is that one? I'm not sure where that one came from. I'm drawing a blank right now, folks, but... Uh, Miss Mary Gregory. Oh, 17 is the Lawrence Estate. Lawrence Estate, that's right. 55, 1956 Kentucky Derby. This is the Three Tails and Two Stars glass. Uh, retails about $250, $270 on that deal. This is made by Ula Pottery for Kansas City. Neat little piece there. A couple more Hummels and odds and ends. Hat pin cushion dolls. Folks, it's going to be a real fun auction. I'm guessing 10 or 10.30 this week. Nowhere near as long as it was two weeks ago. We'll be home by, we'll be home Tuesday night is my plan. Good paintings, good artwork, good furniture, good sm sterling. Don't know what more we could give you. And uh, we're excited about it. It's a good auction. It's going to be fun to sell it all throughout the night. Because I always love selling quality merchandise, and I think you all love to buy it. So with that, I will let you enjoy the weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday.